There are only a couple of events each year in the off-campus student housing industry that bring all of the industry leaders together. The National Multifamily Housing Council's annual Student Housing Conference is the longest running conference for the industry. 2023 marks the 20th year for this conference and is being held October 17th through the 19th at the MGM Grand Hotel and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. This is the premier event for student housing professionals bringing together leaders from all facets of the sector, including owners and operators, investors, lenders, and university partners. The conference features the industry's best and brightest minds all at one event, delivering the knowledge, tools, programs, and connections necessary for leaders to shape their future success and the future of our industry. So who are some of the folks attending this year's conference? Let's meet one of them right now. Audrey, Lisa, I hear you're going to Vegas. Woohoo! We are. Vegas, baby. <laughs> it was just a few months ago that we were talking about going to Austin. Yeah. Um, for Interface. And I think uh, I think that was a really good conference for everybody. How about for you guys? Yeah. It was great. It was a fun one for us. And we we made a lot of new connections at that one, but we we always enjoy seeing our our friends and colleagues at that mm-hmm. show too. So Austin is it's always a good one. And but yeah. Vegas will be different. So so Vegas is NMHC student housing conference um, that's going on October 17th through the 19th. Um, last year, we were all going to Miami for this conference and it got canceled by <laughs> the Hurricane Ian, I believe it was. Mm-hmm. And so I don't think we're going to have that issue in Vegas um, with, with hurricanes. So I hope I'm keeping my fingers crossed and everything goes smoothly and we're all able to get there this year. Um, but I wanted to, to talk to you guys, one, to thank you for, we're going to be doing an event out at the, uh, top golf at, at MGM grand. And I want to thank you guys for, for obviously sponsoring that. But, um, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to this conference that, you know, didn't go to Austin and they may have never heard of you guys before. So I really kind of wanted to get you guys on and, and talk a little bit about what you guys are doing and what you get, what you guys are trying to accomplish at. Uh, the conference as well. So with that being said, for those that don't know anything about South Park Interiors, give me your 90 second elevator pitch. South Park Interiors is obviously um, commercial interior architecture and design. um, And we focus primarily on student housing, uh, multifamily and hospitality. I would say student housing is near and dear to our heart. And we've kind of made a pretty good reputation and now we're conquering multi little by little. Um, But we love student because it's so rewarding for us and we've developed so many great relationships in it. We are a woman owned company. Um, We handle everything from full set of ID, branding, uh, procurement, install, we're turnkey. Um, And we've delivered over 300 projects around the country um, just in student. Um, So that's been definitely the bulk of our business. Um, And we have a really loyal clientele. Um, Most of our business is repeat business. But the reason Audrey and I enjoy these conferences is we love to meet new people. We love to make appointments with new people. We love to work with developers that have just stepped into the scene. And we love to work with developers who've been around forever that we just never got our shot with. Uh, We have a campaign going on right now. It's kind of like mix it up. And we've been doing that for a while. Um, I find that some of the bigger, larger groups, um, management and development, you know, they work with the same people. And just like with us, we, you know, feel like it's great to mix up your portfolio. And so if we haven't worked with, you know, some of the people that are out there in student and have a great reputation, we are always trying to strive and and, um, hook up with them at these conferences Mm -hmm. and say, hey, Give us a chance and and let's work together. Some people, I can't believe we haven't worked together <laughs> in 20 years because this business is pretty relatively small. Um, well, you know, from personal experience, because you and I have had the same clients and have worked on projects together. And the thing that, you know, that I really enjoy about working with you guys is, yeah, you've got a lot of experience in student housing, but you guys also did your own development in student housing very early on. And you guys just get it because of that. You've been in that situation as a developer. Um, Martha Tomley, who's, you know, the the principal partner with, with you, Lisa, it's, 
you know, the insight that she brings to that part of it has just been fantastic on these things that we've worked jointly together. And that's what we put her on. We put her on (laughs) contracts and speaking to the developers when it gets down to the nitty gritty. And we put Emily, our lead design and all of our talented designers in with, you know, the presentations and then Audrey and I just go out there and we meet as many people as we can and tell them about our company that we're so, we're so, so proud of. Um, The work is incredible and it still is. And we just hired two new designers. We're always growing. Um, But we we have a a good unit of people Mm -hmm. that um, are talented and, and we're, it's so easy to sell our team. And I'll, I'll say, you know, on Lisa and Martha, I'm, it's been so exciting for me to watch because I've been in this industry for almost 10 years now and seeing the legacy that South Park has built and getting to, you know, me getting to be kind of the next generation of that. And, and with our design team now is super exciting and to keep building on what they have already established within the industry, I think is so special and important and to continue the relationships that they've built and meet new people is it's just exciting for us. And so, you know, especially with this event that you're doing at um, the Top Golf event, I think it's really unique and it'll be so fun and a great way for us to meet new people that, yeah. like I said, are the, the next generation of student housing or that have been in it and are just getting into development. And it's exciting for us to know that we can help them along the way. And Audrey well, just, and I would like to put out a challenge for Top Golf. We're challenging. <laughs> I, I was just going to ask uh, how 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 pro are you guys at at Top Golf? Yeah. Because I got a feeling that I'm really good. Like we're we're, <laughs> we're going to be practicing so that we can beat developers for a project. If uh, we win, we get the project. If this was if this was mini golf, I would be much more confident. My short game's great. My long game, not so much. But you know, I'm going to lie and say that it is. Yeah. Well, there you go. Mm-hmm. So, um, you know, a couple of things that I wanted to talk about, you know, as it relates to stuff that you guys are, have been doing this past year and, and, you know, what you've got kind of marked up for next year. Is there anything specific you guys want to highlight for, for folks to see? We have had a really busy install season this year, and it's been super exciting to see all of these projects that have been on our roster for the last two, three years finally coming to life. Um, So this summer we've had a few big deliveries, one of those being the Marshall Rochester with aptitude development. I got to go to that install. It's a a beautiful site and the design turned out great. Two more. We have a team this week in Houston installing a site for global student housing, also a, a ground up property. And then another ground up property that has been completed this summer is the Walk Starkville in Mississippi with um, spaces management. So we've had some some really cool deliveries this summer and then upcoming for next year, as far as student goes, again, with aptitude, we are delivering the Marshall Birmingham 2.0 with them next year. Which oh, really 2.0, it. okay. 2.0, yeah. <laughs> so they liked it so much they they did it. It was so nice they had to do it twice, right? <laughs> um, and then with our pal Andrew Stark and Timberline, we are working on a new project with them called West 20 in Gainesville, Florida, which will be an amazing new student development. And um, we have a few renovation projects as well. Um, one of those being with our friends at Landmark in Station Alafaya Woo-hoo, in Florida as well. Finally got in so with Landmark. Thanks to the Landmark team. <laughs> yeah, we've been chasing them for a while. But um, that's just a, a few. We've we have I think at any given time we have twenty to twenty five active projects, and we're always looking to bring in more um, more projects for our team that for people that want to really make a difference at their properties aesthetically, but, you know, from smart space planning and um, purposeful and thoughtful design. So that's why we want to meet people in Vegas. So, so that that's a great lineup on new development. Yeah. I'm kind of curious with, you know, kind of the slowdown in a lot of the development. Um, what, you know, are folks coming to you guys at all about doing renovations or, you know, just refreshing their clubhouse? Um, cause you guys do those services as well. We do have some refresh, but I've been pleasantly surprised. I, we braced the team for, Hey guys, you know, it's going to be really hard to get new <laughs> developments and 
We're going to be doing a lot of refresh. Yeah, that's what everyone was telling us. I mean, even in Austin, that kind of was the consensus of the re- what the rest of this year was going to be. But we have been signing on with new development. Um, I think we probably, it's probably 70, 30 right now mm-hmm. on our caseload. Mm-hmm. So 70 new development, 30 okay. reno. So that's well, fantastic. Kind of, yeah, it's pretty, pretty great. So, uh, you know, all of these conferences have a little bit of a different DNA about them. And, uh, you know, there, there's certainly a certain crowd that comes with Interface. There's a certain crowd that, that typically comes from NMHC. Maybe there's a little bit of overlap. But uh, Lisa, tell me a little bit about what it is that you like about this conference. It's a more intimate setting, um, we find. And also something great about this show versus Austin is we're in the developer, if somebody's new going to the show and they don't know, um, this versus Austin, we're in the developers might walk around and they're not maybe the key people for subs to maybe speak with. Um, we find that um, this is really great because you can talk to the CEO, you can talk to you know the VP, you can talk to regionals. You, you know, they usually travel in packs at this yeah. show. And so um, Audrey and I like that because we can hit a group and kind of part and, you know, really get to meet their whole team all at one setting. So we really like that about this show. Um, and then I think another thing about this show is not having vendor booths because we usually do have a booth and that's usually where we tell people to meet us. Um, it makes it a little easier and Audrey will put up her calendar link for us to talk and make actual meetings with people because we don't usually get that one-on-one time and be able to talk about our portfolio and the things that we can provide if it's in that Mm -hmm. kind of scenario. So this is a a good show for that. But no meetings at the blackjack table because we will get (laughs) nothing done. So (laughs) even though we don't know how to, well, maybe the bar. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So Vegas, you know, when we talked about Austin, we talked a little bit about fun things that, you know, we all like to do there to make sure that anybody watching this video, you know, if if it's their first time, what they need to, you know, what they need to pay attention to. Um, For Vegas, I feel like everybody's probably been there at some point in time. I'm just kind of curious outside of playing top golf, and I'm sure you're probably going to spend some time in the casinos. Have you guys got anything else planned that you're trying to events or concerts or anything like that you're trying to take in while you're there? I have a few things. Well, I, um, I've only been to Vegas for work as well, like you have Wes, but luckily we always try to get to do some fun stuff. Um, there's so many great shows and residencies. I'm well, Lisa's too big lady Gaga fans. She's, (laughs) she's doing a jazz residency in Vegas, but fortunately she's going to be gone by the time we get there, but there's always so many amazing shows. And then another really cool thing that I would love to see, um, while we're there, if we have time, there is a, I think it's, I think it's above the old part of Vegas, but there is a, it's called the neon graveyard, I believe. And it's a kind of walk through little tour of all of these old casino signs that have from casinos that no longer exist or have been torn down and they kind of set it up and they light them back all up artificially. Oh, okay. so it's just a cool thing to do. Uh, Corey, our logistics director, she's been to it and says it's amazing. So that's something I would love to get to go see. I'm not sure if only design is interested in. Maybe. Li- dead <laughs> dead signage. Yeah. Dead signage. It's a little Ooh. on the nose for us. And then we're both foodies and yeah. Vegas has so many amazing restaurants. So we definitely want to totally. try some some new places in Vegas. Um, so. I think I'm most excited about that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Food. Same. Well, guys, thanks so much for spending um, time with us. I know we talked a little bit about um, making sure that we've got a calendar link for you guys. So if anybody wants to make any uh, reservations um, to, to meet with you guys out there, and I will uh, put that in the show notes and along with all of your contact information. Um, and also, but- I'm going to give you a white whale list for us that you can okay. do in neon <laughs> and it can flash out like, hey, look, you know, we want to talk, you know, to you. <laughs> And it's a target list that's going to roll like credits at the end. Yeah, those we'll are, those are the out. people we'd like to meet. Yeah, we're going to call. We're going to call you out by name, <laughs> and if you don't call us, we're going to be very upset. <laughs> you know, it gets old, so you gotta you gotta like infuse some excitement into, you know, everything. Absolutely, so. absolutely. Yeah. 
Well, ladies, thanks so much again for for sponsoring the event, and I'm excited to to see you guys out there. I, one other quick thing that I, I forgot to ask you guys. Obviously, I know you guys are located here in Charlotte, you know, not too far from me. Um, but you guys do things all over the country. I've had you guys in Reno and San Diego. Yeah. Um, uh, you guys are not tied down regionally at all. Absolutely. Yeah, we we can work anywhere within the continental United States, and we love to travel. So we're willing to go anywhere. I'm sure if somebody had something in Hawaii, you would still take it. I was just going to say that. We're looking to do Hawaii. And we're also, um, we're really trying to get more of a presence in California Mm -hmm. um, and out West. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Well, ladies, thanks so much. And we'll see you. Thank you. We'll see you in Vegas. See you in Vegas. Vegas. Bye.